Hello to one and all. In this video, I'm going to explain to you guys which socks you should be wearing when you're out inline skating in order to get the best experience by avoiding blisters, avoiding cold feet in the winter, and most importantly, avoiding that annoying gap that some of us find in between the boot and our angles. So we lose comfort and we lose stability. But before we get started, I want to make sure that everybody knows that if you have perfect skates that fit your feet the way they should, there's never any need to wear socks. If it's a matter of cold feet, it's much wiser to actually wear a thing like this, some layer that goes on the outside of the skate to protect you from the cold and the wet. When it comes to blisters, again, if your skates fit your feet perfectly, you're probably not gonna have that many blisters, first off. And if you do, it's smarter to use like a second skin. I recommend the brand called Compete, uh, which I've been using since forever. It's very simple, you just adapt this, put it on your skin, leave it there a little before you put your feet into the skate, and then that's just gonna act as a little shield for the skin until your feet are comfortable with the skates, which usually happens naturally. If not, you can always heat mold or aqua mold the skates. If you haven't tried that before, I recommend you to have a look at this guide that we created, just to give you guys an insight, a little tips and tricks on how to do that the best way possible. The last reason, you would ever find to wear socks inside your skates is because they simply just don't fit or you lack that support around the angles. A brand called EaseFit um, has thankfully made a really smart solution to cover this problem. It is a little like an extra padding, but instead of a sock, it only goes around the angle where we actually need the support. You can check it out right here. Um, this only costs about $30, so if you're on a budget, it's an easy way to upgrade your skates instead of just buying entirely new boots. They come in different sizes and even different thicknesses. Um, so I'll put a link below where you can check those out and order a pair if you need them. If, however, you're still looking to wear socks in your inline skates, I'm gonna explain to you why you should wear longer socks such as these. By wearing short socks, an angle sock, which might be appealing because you can't really see the upper end of the sock, um, and thus it makes it a little smoother, gives you a nicer look because they're kind of invisible. Don't do it. Because the reason for this is that a sock like that will be shorter here than most socks. So where you actually need that stability the most, it won't even cover that part. So instead, you're just gonna have socks that fill in the boot, maybe even fill more than they should. And where you need that support around the angles, it's simply not there. So instead, go for something rather thin that goes all the way up. It doesn't have to be this far up but at least so you're sure that it's taller up than the boots itself. So just to summarize, one should never wear socks if it can be avoided. Make sure you have skates that fit your feet correctly. If they don't, you can always aqua mold or heat mold them in the oven. If you do anyways decide to wear socks, make sure that they're rather thin and that they cover the entire foot and that the thickness of the sock is even throughout the entire sock. I hope you found this video helpful. If you want to have a look at all our equipment, go visit topskate.dk and make sure to subscribe so you can stay tuned for the next video that I'm going to post about skating equipment and training. Thanks for watching.